The 2025 Ram 3500 rolls out with a sharp redesign, borrowing some of the slick styling from its half-ton sibling. But don't be tricked. These beasts are built for more than just curb appeal, they're all about getting the job done. We have 5 solid reasons why you might want to think twice before buying the 2025 Ram 3500. Stay until the end of the video to see all the angles before making your call. New diesel engine is on the horizon. The 6.7-liter turbo diesel inline 6 by Cummins is a reliable engine that can haul massive loads if you equip it properly. Still, Ram 3500 truck lags behind Ford in towing capacity, whose F350 has already broken the 40,000-pound barrier. A 7.2-liter turbo diesel is about to enhance current outputs, maximized at 420 horsepower and 1,075 pound-feet. The new unit will push the power closer to 500 ponies, while the torque rating should rival, or even edge out, what Ford's packing in the F-350. New petrol mill, two options. Hemi engine, much like the 6.7 Cummins, has earned its stripes in reliability and durability. But it's starting to show the age, and rivals offer newer options designed for modern demands. That's why the 6.4-liter V8 is about to be replaced. The Hurricane engine has already taken its place under the hood of Ram 1500 and Grand Cherokee. Top spec form for the half-ton pickup will be able to deliver 540 horsepower and 521 pound-feet, which still can't cover its main issue, only six cylinders. It's definitely worth holding out to see the development of the Cummins petrol engine. Yes, you've heard it right. The company well known for building diesel units is turning a new page. The first concept is unveiled, and the company announced diesel-like performance in a gasoline package. Built on the B6.7 platform, the base version is going to deliver 220 horsepower and 600 pound-feet. The mid-range option increases outputs to 260 horsepower, and the high-output version bursts 300 ponies and 660 pound-feet of torque. New ZF Powerline Transmission the new Allison transmission for GM's heavy-duty lineup earned so much fanfare that it sparked rumors about whether Ram might adopt it for their 2500 and 3500 series. It was all just speculation, but here's the reality, with the aging eyes and gearbox trucks can't be competitive. A 10-speed Allison power router is no longer a hot topic after the introduction of the ZF Powerline 8-pace transmission. It is just a matter of time when it will be added to the lineup, and it's shaping up to be the perfect pairing for both of the new Cummins engines, whether diesel or gasoline-powered. Improved towing capacity. The truck can already haul serious load, but with the new powertrains, we can expect serious gains in towing capacity. Ford is an absolute leader in this game with 40,000 pounds, the record that Ram's new 7.2 liter turbo diesel needs to break. Of course, the Blue Oval Company will be keeping a close eye on Cummins' next moves and make improvements on its power stroke engine to hold onto its top spot in this segment. The new Hurricane Inline 6 delivers massive outputs, but its performance is questionable for heavy duty trucks, especially under huge loads. On the other hand, 660 pound feet of the new Cummins petrol mill could be a game changer, setting new benchmarks in the heavy duty segment. It's a daring estimate, but with torque like this, we could see towing numbers hit the 25,000 pound mark. See what happens with Stellantis. Disturbing reports are surfacing from Stellantis, as news of its trouble spreads like wildfire. Sales are declining rapidly, the company is implementing drastic cost-cutting measures, including laying off hundreds of workers and hiring lower-paid staff from Asia and South America. The executive team is in disarray, with many fleeing the scene, and CEO Carlos Tavares is expected to be sacked as soon as a suitable replacement is found. These recent developments are just the tip of the iceberg and deeper issues lie in the company's inability to produce competitive vehicles. The Ram lineup is essentially unchanged since its debut in 2009, when the nameplate replaced Dodge brand. Even the crown jewel of the Stellantis group, Jeep Wrangler, is facing tough time, lacking modern innovations and allowing Ford Bronco to catch up. If the company can't navigate this major crisis, the future could spell a sell-off of its brands. It will be interesting to see who's bold enough to bring Ram under their hood from Stellantis. This uncertainty is our final reason to hold off on purchasing the 2025 Ram 3500.